All right, what's up, roller booters? So, as you may have seen from my I'm going on tour video, I am currently on tour. So I'm in Lake City, Florida. For those of you who've been following the channel, you know I live in San An I live in San Antonio, but right now I am in Lake City, which is where I grew up, little town, North Central Florida. And so I thought a fun idea, I was gonna take it kind of easy today, because Mike McFly, who I'm kind of on tour with, is out in Tallahassee right now for like a convention. So I'm just chilling here in Lake City by my lonesome, and I thought, hey, it might be fun to go revisit some of the big spots, uh, big hammer spots and otherwise, and just go check them out and then do some of them and, and not do some of them because some of them are a lot bigger than I'm willing to, to do today uh, and get hurt. And I think, honestly, most of those are behind me, but that's okay. So we're gonna go cruise around. I'll skate a little bit. I'll talk a little bit and give you a tour of my hometown spots here. So we're just pulling up to the Dennis Gap. So let's talk about that one. All right, so we are at the Dennis Gap, which is aptly named because it's a dentist office. At least it used to be. I don't know, whatever. But this is the gap right here. And so this is the run up. And it's, fortunately, it's kind of downhill, a downhill slope, but the gap itself is a little bit dicey where you have to jump over all this stuff and it's a pretty healthy drop so let's jump down and we'll take a look at it but I'll show some clips right here of myself and some other people doing this and um, I'll link to some of these videos where I pulled the footage in the description below if you want to go check them out but I mean you can compare it to my Nissan Rogueway up there my rental car but it's a pretty healthy gap I tried to fakie seven it one day, which with that run up was a little bit sketchy. I'm gonna walk around. <laughs> um, but uh, I tried to fakie seven it and I actually, I think I got sort of close. This was all when I was like, you know, 18 or something, 17, 18, whatever it was. Yeah, I think my gapping days are mostly behind me, but cool. Definitely not gonna skate this one today. On to the next spot. I don't know which one it's gonna be, but here we go. Okay, so we are at Columbia High School where I went to school. We're pulling up to the CHS Kink, the CHS Kink Trail, which I haven't seen in a very, long time you can kind of see it right over here but we're gonna take a look at it I have so basically I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that's done this rail basically every day for almost my entire high school career I came and looked at this rail every day and we um, would hang out on the steps and look at it and fantasize about doing it but it's uh this is honestly at least from memory one of the hardest rails i've ever done um the kinks are really it's hard to tell and all these trees all these trees were not here but i'll show the clip right here of me doing it but it took a lot of tries it was and i ate a lot of crap trying to land this thing but uh I'm glad i did but the kinks are super sharp at least like they feel super sharp when you're doing it. So uh, this is another spot today I'm not gonna be skating, <laughs> uh, just cause it's kind of a, a personal hammer of mine that I am very much okay with leaving in the past and not doing this one again, to be honest with you. But um, I know Mike McFly wants to come and tackle this thing one of these days, so I'm sure he'll get it. But um, yeah, all right. I think um, there's one other rail here we're gonna go take a quick look at. Okay, still at CHS here and we are walking up to the CHS stair rails here. I forget how many steps there. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like eight. These rails were skated a lot. We skated these rails a whole bunch and they're honestly not super fun, but I'll start showing clips right here of us skating these, but they're honestly not super fun rails. They're relatively high. The grass kind of drops out from underneath. So if you rack, you're kind of just hung out to dry. I'm pretty sure I racked on these rails a couple times. Again, I don't think I'm gonna be skating these. So I just came from the gym, so my legs are a little bit sore, but maybe I'll give it a go. I think I have wax. I just sort of decided to do this. I was literally not going to make a video today and just chill, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go see if I have some wax and maybe just try to topsail this thing real quick. Yeah, no wax. So at least that's my excuse for now. I don't think those will slide. They look kind of rusty right now. So we'll pick up some some wax real quick and then uh, we'll go to a spot that I can actually skate, that I'm actually willing to skate. So we'll see you there. Okay, I lied actually, because on our way to the dollar store to get wax, I forgot we were passing the DOT. There's the DOT rail. We'll get out in a second and take a look, but it's like, I don't know, a 12 stair or something, but it curved and it's aluminum. It doesn't slide super well. And we used to skate it quite a bit. The first time I skated with Mike McCarthy, he came here and I believe he sold it first try, but actually a super fun rail. I'll start posting a couple clips right here that you can see but hopefully i can find there was like a hurricane sweat stance or 360 basically a 360 sweat stance and then alley-oop acid and then 
Some other people did some stuff, but unfortunately, as you can see, it is now capped. So that's unfortunate, but what's kind of cool is, I don't know that I actually saw anyone actually do it, but you could hit this rail and then blast down here and then there's another rail, and that was this one down there. I'm not even gonna walk all the way down because it's not worth looking at. But there's a rail right down there that's like a maybe a six stair. But there's always cars right at the end of the right in the landing, so it's it's a little bit sketchy. But okay, I had a feeling I remember this being capped. And unfortunately, it is. So, and this was one I actually, if it wasn't capped, honest to God, like I was gonna come back in topsail, get some waxing, come back in topsail this thing. So again, I have a semi-valid excuse. I don't know. But we're gonna get waxed, and we're gonna go to. Veterans rail, which hopefully isn't capped, and hopefully we can get a couple clips on it. Go Gators. Okay, so we are headed to Veterans Rail because it's, I think, it like a veterans, uh, like health home or uh, um, assisted living facility kind of thing. But honestly, it's one of my favorite rails in town, and I'm really hoping that uh, it's a little bit of a bust, so we may be in and out a little bit. But I'm hoping it's not like occluded, so because sometimes at the end of the rail they'll put like a dump, a big dumpster or something like a commercial dumpster. Um, but I'm hoping it's not capped. I'm hoping we can get a couple clips because it's a really fun rail. It's nice and low, nice and long. Um, but I'll show some clips right now of some different tricks on it. And uh, yeah, so we'll be there in just a couple minutes and uh, see what we can get done on it. Well, if you're Mike watching this, which I'm sure you are watching this, you already know this was going to happen. You knew this was going to happen is it is now gated off. Don't you hate it, man? Come back and try to skate some stuff and it's all gated off, so. All right, well, we, we will head, I think, downtown and start looking around for some other spots that uh, we used to hit, so off we go. All right, just pulled up, pulled up to a rail. I don't think we ever had a name for this rail. I'm trying to remember who all did it. I know me and Bill both did it, but it's this one right here, and kind of a drop rail, whatever, however many stairs that is, but um, I'll play a couple clips right here of, you know, either me or Bill doing the rail, and I'll pop back to it right here, but it's really, like, skinny, it's just, like, as, as far as diameter goes, but probably the sketchiest, this is one of the sketchiest things that has ever probably happened to me, is... I tried to topsole it, but I completely missed, fell down basically onto my butt, and you'll notice this sprinkler, this spigot right here, and I remember standing up, getting up off my butt, and wondering how in God's name I didn't fall, actually fall on this, because I landed literally like right next to it. It was only by like the purest form of luck that I didn't impale myself on that little sp on that little spigot. So again, this is not one we're going to be doing today. Sorry. <laughs> I know this is, seems to be the running theme, but this one's a little bit more of a hammer than I'm looking to do for me personally right now. So off we go, on to the next one. So this is one I'm kind of particularly proud of. I looked at this one for a long time as well and uh, finally got the opportunity to do it. Can't remember if I did it in the rain or not, but here it is. Pretty good size drop ledge and you'll notice the landing, there's like a good, whatever, three or four feet gap to the road here. You basically have to come down the ledge and either lay some plywood down or uh, basically jump to the street. And so fortunately I was able to get a nice, I say nice, but I was able to do a front royale down it and land fakie on the street. And I can't remember if I did it in the rain. I know I at least tried it in the rain, but they have since put up this gate that makes it a lot more difficult but you can see everything is quite a bit not nearly as slick as it once was but yeah this was a big one i'm uh there's a few tricks most of these tricks i'm like okay if i had to do it again i probably could but this one i don't know this was a tough one so i'm just basically gonna assume that because i just went through my old section to see what spots are either still here or viable and actually let me show I'm sorry, let me show you the clip right here of me trying this ledge. So I'll show that right now. Back my long hair days for sure. So I, I, I keep saying it, but we're gonna try to find a spot that I can actually skate today, but we'll find something. We'll find something. We're gonna keep looking. All right, we are at Elks Lodge here at Lake DeSoto in downtown Lake City. Um, so Elks Lodge is, I think it's, I don't know, I call everything like a 12 stair. So here it is. The old Elks Lodge rail. Not sure how many stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, I guess it's a fifteen stair. Pretty darn steep. Done a handful of tricks down here, but I don't know. 
This one usually isn't that that crazy, so we may give this one a a quick try on a on a quick top sole. This is kind of my this is kind of my happy zone. Is this one's a little bit steeper than. I would typically like for a perfect derail. It's definitely something that I like doing. It's definitely in my wheelhouse. So I don't know, maybe because my legs are a little bit stiff right now, it doesn't look like anyone's here. So not too bad of a bust right now, but um, yeah. So maybe we'll get warmed up and get a quick topsail on this thing. I don't know. I think we'll get it. Why not? See what happens. First trick of the day, Elks Lodge, topsail. Whew. Things, uh, things definitely a little, <laughs> it's steeper than I remember, for sure. So, all right, let's see what else we can find. Off we go. Okay, pulling up to what is now Halpatter Brewing, what used to be the Montgomery building rail or Montgomery rail. Um, it's kind of a strange, it's not quite round. It's sort of like a flattish sort of rail, um, but not gonna do this one today. Cool little rail. The ledges are kind of sketchy, but sort of cool. I never did do the, those. I think Mike and Daniel and some other people did them, but I did actually back, this is one of those tricks where I don't think I could do it again, but I'll show the clip right, clip right here. But I did end up doing a true backside unity cross-legged back savanna, whatever you want to call it, uh, down this one. And that's one of those tricks where I'm like, I don't know if I could do that one again, actually, so. Okay, but we're not gonna get out on that one. On to the next one. So there used to be a rail right, I think pretty much right here. I don't know if they leveled the whole building. Actually, I think it's right behind us. But yeah, it's really tough to see, but I'll go ahead and show the clip right here. I think they completely demolished the video, demolished the video, demolished the building. But so this clip, uh, we used to call the, I think the fire station rail, because it was off the fire station. It's one of these buildings, but uh, it has since been demolished, but it was uh, one of the scariest rails I've ever done, for sure. I never did land it. Only got one attempt, because it's the ultimate bus spot, right across the street, literally feet away from the police station, literally attached to the fire station. So I got one attempt at this, never tried it again, slid out on the landing, and that's probably how, it, well, that is obviously how it's gonna stay, because the rail doesn't exist anymore, so. So there's that one. That was a that was a scary one. Okay, we are at a church. I don't know what the church is called, but this is, this kink trail is right up there with the hardest rails I've ever done, for sure. It took probably 60 or 100 tries, man, but, um, so we'll take a look at it right now. Boop. So you can see it's like a flat, or it's like, I don't know, a 10 stair flat, 10 stair-ish, but it's super steep, and it kinks, and it curves, and it does all kinds of stuff, but, um, we used to skate this, just this portion, which by itself is super steep, man, um, and it's square, the whole thing's square, and I'll show some clips right now of, of, uh, me and Bill and some other people skating this, um, I was actually really proud of a fast slide down on this rail because you can't land lava, right, because there's grass, and I'll cut back to the rail here, but, um, this is one of those where I don't think the angle of the video really did it much justice, but it's um, it's a doozy. It's a doozy, honestly. Um, it's steep, the kinks are hard, the rail is square. I mean, it's just, it's a lot going on, and uh, and it shoots you off. So if you grind down, do, 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 and you know, if you don't lean in, it's just gonna shoot you off and spit you out, you know, almost eight feet down there. So this was a rail I was really proud of. Um, honestly, took a lot of try, took enough tries, that's for sure. But yeah, the big church kink. So I'll show the clip right now of me actually doing the whole rail and you can see that. Props to Daniel Hastry for filming basically all these clips. He's the one who made it all possible. So shout out Daniel, but all right. So that's, uh, this is a big one. That's a big one. So, at least for me it was. It still is, honestly, so. I don't know, we might hit one or two more spots, but I think we're getting close. I think we're getting close. 
Well, I think that's about going to do it for today, boys and girls. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little mini tour of some of my hometown hammers here in the one Elks Lodge topsail. I thought I was going to skate a lot more today, but not the case. So anyway, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you do like the content, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Roller Take care.